Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Slip Joint Sawyer here. Please ignore the plaster, I cut myself while cooking because, you know, that's just what I do. So today I've got quite a different video for you. I'm going to be doing a true unboxing. Now this knife has just arrived on my doorstep, it's still packaged up. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. It is the, the new Buck 250 Saunter. I've been looking at this for a long time and I finally managed to pull the trigger on it the last couple of days. Just arrived in from Lamnia. So all packaged up still, I've not had a chance to open it, so we'll just jump straight in and get the box opened. So I'll be using this, it's the Deep Canyon Jig Bone Case Half Whittler. Let's get this box open. Feels like there might be a bit of glue in there as well. I want to make sure there's none of my information on the top. Nope, doesn't appear to be. So you can see this is how it's come packaged, like peanuts in there. And the box. Make sure there's nothing else in there, nothing else in there. There we go. So here's the overall presentation of the box. Nice box from Buck. Sort of their higher end box. And you can see here you've got the Made in the USA and the saunter that's a like, um, you know california cancer and reproductive harm it is part of the pro made in the usa and it does have their forever warranty which is fantastic not had a chance to use this from the uk i might see if i can do it on previous buck knives i've got so just a plain box the buck logo on the front there and it's got this nice that sort of sleeve so i'll pop that up there out of the way some of the dust from the packing peanuts on it there you go you can see buck and then it has sort of embossed here edge of a legend really nice silver stamped on logo there let's take first look as you can see right inside the box you've got this sort of shredded paper in there to keep it safe and then you've got like a nice little thing there from buck themselves established 1902 with over a century of experience, we've instilled a legacy of self-reliance by building knives that prevail through generations. This piece stands as a testament to our enduring craftsmanship and is backed for life by our famous Buck Knives Forever Warranty. Can't ask for more than when you get a new knife and have that warranty with it. So we'll just grab the knife out of here. It does come in a nice little drawstring slip ending underneath here. And yeah, you've got a couple of bits here from back themselves so you've got operating instructions and then you've got a message from the buck family but you know cj buck the current ceo and chairman and then there's their forever famous warranty on the back there i'll just hold up there for a sec if you want to pause and have a read of that so anyway, let's get this packing back in the box and then let's get this let's get this knife out we'll pop that up there out of the way so as you can see, it's come in this really nice sort of nylon-y drawstring bag. Buck logo at the bottom there. Let's open this up. Oh, seems to have got a bit caught. Suspense. And here it is, the Buck Saunter. Love that micarta right off the bat. Nice grippy texturing on that. It's definitely going to be a working knife. Really nice fit and finish. Tiniest of gaps up here, but literally nothing major. Again, that really nice black micarta on there. Let's get this knife out of the way. It's trying to focus on that. T8 and it looks like could be T6 yeah T8 and T6 construction it does have a lanyard loop here on the back and imagine it's fixed so the D cut out to make them fix so they don't spin seeing so you know, there's only hardware on one side same with the pivot and you can see it's got that the buck logo engraved there in the pivot nice little touch And that's a really classy looking knife. I've had my eye on this for a long time. 
I had my eye on the when they brought out the 2022 model that was in the S90V but it was a little out of my price range so this is in the 154 cm and they made it a bit more affordable for me to get let's have a look at the center in at the box yeah dead down the center no worries with that at all seems to be a long pull to open oh nice snap really nice clip point blade there you see you've got the 250 model number there the buck usa that does feel razor sharp out of the box quite a high grind on this but it is pretty even a little bit shallow there it's a nice subtle swedge on the clip point and then on the rear you do have the boss heat treatment on the 154 cm let's have a listen to the action no half stop so it's a cam tang nice little slam down there into the close position yeah i can tell this is going to be a fantastic knife not a huge knife you do get that nice little bit there to hold your finger in and i can get just about my four fingers on there and i've got about a medium hand closer look at that micarta as well can see the texture on there you can tell how grippy that is lanyard loop may put one on there if i decide to put it in a slip but seeing as it's my cart i'll probably just throw it in the pocket what do you think of that guys what's your opinion i really like that clip point nice satin finish grind on it buck logo there the, the sort of the long pull nice clean long pull I really like the handle shape as well. I, I like this bit at the bottom where it's a bit more bulbous, so you, it stops your hand sort of sliding back. And it does have it here as well to stop you sliding forward. So you do feel really locked up when you're in that position. Probably would have liked a little bit of jimping on the top, but to keep with that sort of the traditional buck sort of theme, you know, they do things. They like to keep, you know, how their knives have been. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought buck would be putting jimping. So nice little lanyard loop. Can see there is a stop pin in there stop any blade wrapping on the frame really nice and clean on the inside listen to the action one more time really nice lock up you can tell it's a buck whenever you get a buck that that lock up does sound very familiar That click, even though it's not a lockback, does have a familiar sounding to the 110. Nice positive lockup, and you just know that it's, it's not going to be an easy one to, to push closed. Pull, I'd say, is about six to a six and a half. Plenty strong enough for the sort of use I'll be using this for. So there we go, guys. That is my sort of unboxing and first impressions of the Buck 250 Saunter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This seemed like a knife you would go for. Um, have you got one? And I will be doing a sort of in-depth review after I've carried it for a while. So obviously, as I've just unboxed it. Well, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the Buck 250 Saunter, part of their Pro Series. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.